What's by this is Jaden, and welcome back to a new reaction video. And today we are reacting to Prison Break Season 5, Episode 9, Behind the Eyes. The last episode of Prison Break ever. Um, I started this uh see I started this show about a, a year ago. It would be two years in the summer. Like around June, it'd be two years, but as of now it's December. So I started it about a year ago. I was able to watch all five seasons in a year um i kind of wish it took me less than a year to be honest but like this isn't my full-time thing i have a lot of other things to do so i am kind of proud of myself that i was able to do five seasons in a year um especially with doing especially with doing you know vampire diaries fully on full time um i was a uh, doctor who the who, like doctor who full-time uh torchwood sarah jane um you know all those shows uh i did Better Call Saul for a season. And uh, the show replacing this is Better Call Saul Season 2. So when I'm done with this episode, you know, Better Call Saul will come on every Mondays and Wednesdays or just whenever I have time to do it. Because recently I haven't really had a Patreon schedule like I want to. But um, but Better Call Saul will be replacing this show. Um, I'll probably start uploading Better Call Saul on YouTube like when I do it for, for, uh, for Patreon. So... I hope you understand, like, I hope this, I hope I'm being clear, like, um, Better Call Saul will be, will probably be on YouTube along with season four of Prison Break, but I'll explain it more in the Better Call Saul stuff. Anyway, let, let's forget about that, but this is the last episode of uh, Prison Break, uh, Behind the Eyes, let's see what it's gonna be all about. Full reactions on Patreon. I thought it was gonna be a man. I feel like Vin shot her. Six minutes earlier. That was cool. It's like I knew it. Is that? Oh, that's that's actual Sarah. Yeah. Look, you want to screw something up? Put a thousand people on it. You want to get it done right? Put it in the hands of a few. What we were doing was advancing this country's cause. How does freeing a man like Abu Ramal advance this country's cause? Well, it doesn't. Kept telling myself this was going to be my last lie, that it would fade with time, as we had anniversaries. Raised that beautiful child. That is not your child. I raised him. Our love was real, Sarah. Past tense. I still hmm. love you. So it seems like you're trying to convince yourself. Look, see, look. Vin off. shot her. I already told you, Vin shot her. I like Vin. Vin's my homie. <laughs> Vin's my man. You credit. You'll give like, the whole nine yards to help one man steal another man's wife. No, no, no. Don't talk to him. Or what? You'll do something you're not already going to do. You're going to kill me. He's not going to do anything. No matter how many times you tell me you love me first. Shut up! Michael didn't kill Harlan Gaines. I didn't draw a map. Oh, see? I knew Vin was going to shoot me. Run. Oh. Wait. What are you doing up here, Van? I just want to make sure that we're getting the right She shot time. Van! What? I thought questions. it was Van or Vin? She shot Vin! I thought Vin was going to shoot her. Go. Do whatever you want with me. If Schofield killed Harlan Gaines, we take him to the police if we have to. We get this done the right way. Poseidon would never let us live. He won't find us. Because there's no leaving 21 Floyd. Wait, she shot her, his elbow? His arm? I mean... That was a clean shot. Uncle Lincoln! Uncle Lincoln! No, 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 it's me. What's going on? They're shooting. Uncle Lincoln. Okay, they've come for you. Who? I am not gonna let them hurt you. You understand? No! Oh, Sorry. There's some distressed come parents back. right here. Come back to me, sweetheart. Come back to me. I'm gonna stay focused, alright? This is not over. Not by a long shot. Where's Link? We gotta find Link, okay? We're gonna find Link. Link. You better not be dead. Oh my God. Link. Link. What is the? Okay, I gotta watch it. What is that? Like, where do you get shot? Rita. We're so close because of you, Link. You got me home. You got me home. Rita. You know, uh... this blood freaking you out like it's freaking me out. Yeah, yeah. Let me uh Why is there blood there? said that it would deliver me. 
both of us. By your hand, you shall know the glories of your progeny. It, 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 it's, it's progeny. Progeny. Dear boy. Dear boy. Progeny. The plan I had to put on hold while I was in that Yemeni prison. I had to wait till I got out. Tell me you got something. It's eluding me. Eluding. There's an even bigger code encrypted into the eyes. And what's it say? I don't know yet. But Whoa. with the amount of processing what, really? power I throw it how could you? How could he do that? Soon. That's like microscopic. Microscopic? Microscopic? I don't know. Microscofield. That man was a police detective and he told me your mother... Your mother's dead. What? I know. No. But I'm going to take you somewhere safe where those people that are trying to hurt you can't reach you. Why would they try and hurt me? I mean, I'm sick it's of because this. I love you. I sent that letter to you for a reason. Poseidon was monitoring my communications with everyone who could possibly be a resource or an ally, but not with people I despised. Huh. But Poseidon's not just going to let us go. He's got me and your son in an iron grip. Someone has to make him let go. Do you understand? The reason those people are after me, I know this is going to be hard to believe, but I'm basically a secret agent. That's what this place is for me. You Batman? I'd like a bat. I'd like a bat key like that. It's okay. It's okay. Would you please show him your credentials, Agent Blake? Agent Emily Blake, CIA. Her name's Emily. I'm sorry that had to happen in front of you at the house. She was stationed at the house to protect you. Your father died seven years ago. <sighs> at least he's not tainting his father's yeah. memory. You know what I mean? Michael Schofield. We were just talking about you. I'm giving you one last chance to save your life. Hand the boy over, or I can't be held responsible for what happens next. Ooh. Are you threatening my life? Only if you don't hand him over. Crap, man, I want you free and clear. And that's the only way to do it, then I gotta be the one that does it. Schofield ain't gonna do it, he don't got the killing gene. No one is getting What? Killed. There's a very specific order to this. Did he kill somebody? Oh, he did, no, he did kill somebody, Sarah, I forgot. Sarah, should make sure Link's safe and out of harm's Whip. way. Location data coming to you right now. Middle of nowhere. Started moving northeast and the phone was shut off. The secret to real power is to never betray your intentions. To wear nothing on your sleeve. And to never let anyone. Oh man, see this your algorithm's face. taking too long. What? I decrypted the code. He looks scared. Eyes. It's a quote from Napoleon. What? What quote? Never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake. What does that mean? What the heck? <laughs> the house represent Michael? It's what's behind the eyes that counts. How? <gasps> what? How did he do that? Has, has it always been there? I would have seen it if it's always been there. My brother-in-law, did, did Lincoln Burroughs, did he get moved? No, ma'am. He checked himself out. He, he checked himself out? I know. We tried to stop him, but if a patient insists, if it's within their power, we have to let him go. Uh, this is Dr. Ballard. He did the surgery. Hi, Sarah Schofield. I'm an internist, actually, up in Ithaca. Do you have any an idea intern? where my brother-in-law might have gone? No idea. Right. What happened to the finger here. legs? Do you know? Another gunshot victim came in from the same area at the same time. My brother-in-law was alone. It must be a coincidence, but thank you. I'm heading out. I've done what I can. He's on life support up on three, but candidly, I don't think he's making it till morning. You had me running there for a bit. Thinking I've done something wrong. You did. You sent me a hundred grand. No. It's blood money. No debts with blood money. Awesome. Wow. Say we're clear. How can I get more guys? Are you going to be running again? Not this time. Uh, Did you call the police? Did you make friends again? You son of a bitch. No. Yeah. This time they're real. Please. Mm. 
If she pulls the plug, it'll be mercy. Is he dying right now? Are you sure this is where my son is? Killing ain't right. Yeah, yeah I read the Bible. It's not really allowed. You know, I scanned it once in a hotel room. When? What you gonna do? Don't kill anybody unless yeah. they really deserve it. I read the Old Testament part. Eye for an eye, tooth for tooth. Sure, whatever. You know. Yeah, I'm just saying, sometimes certain, certain sons of bitches, they just need to be plain old eradicated. Mm hmm world's is better minus them, like Abergamal. I assume you two Desperados of Schofield's guys. What is he doing? Yeah. You gotta kill Blue Hawaii? He get you out of prison too? No, but I do. You were in prison? Where'd he break you out of? Barraquia, South America. Oh. They were gonna eat my lunch down there, pretty boy like me. Uh, when JFK was shot. Yeah. This here? That's a bullet. It's a book depository. Attention to detail like that. Why are people crazy. obsessed with the JFK assassination? Yeah, crab house mm -hmm. I mean, I can understand it. I mean, I have a whole book about the JFK assassination by Stephen King. I love it 2263, but like, go. people are very obsessed with it. enough of that. Time for a real dance to begin to ride. You gave me family. Seriously, thank you. Speaking of family. Uh, okay. Now, where is my son? You ask questions, you know there isn't a chance in hell I'm gonna answer. So we're back to the game. It's beneath you, Michael. Let him go! Now that... I expected. <laughs> Thank you. About we drop it, lady. Oh, someone's gonna get shot. You don't think I expected this? We can do this all day, play contingency after contingency. But do you really want to do that? <gasps> oh, no, damn it, damn it! Back off, or I kill him right now. They did her dirty in the walk. I know they're supposed to do her dirty, but lady, put the gun down, walk away. I, was, I cannot be held accountable for what's about to happen. Ooh. He moves. I shoot a guy in a bar fight once. He's talking yanning my girl. Give me one second to do it. Don't do it. Just listen to him. He's a very smart man. I'm talking to you, Whip. Whip! Oh, she has a double gun. She has an extra gun. Oh, my God. Whip, no. Whip. I knew it was gonna die. Where'd he get shot at? This wasn't the plan. I got him. Sorry. I got him. Oh, come on. You don't, you're not gonna put the hard drives like this. Come on. Don't, dis don't disappoint me. It's that way. <sighs> Michael, don't disappoint me. It's your last come episode, on. Michael. Wetworth, come on. Stay calm. If he tries to play hero to execute him. Oh! Oh, tea bag. You, I know you didn't want to kill anybody. Go easy, son. Ah, uh, ooh, whoa. Okay, I'm I almost. I got a little choked up there. My eyes were getting a little watery. How was the tea bag was smooth with that? I'm still trying to figure out how he was gonna do that. I'll take that call. <laughs> Is this like a set? Is this like a set? The cabin. Yeah, as I said. Wow. Is he actually shot? Like, I mean, like, come on. Oh, Elvis made it. Gains his jacket. Elvis made it. Camera taking my picture. You're better than I thought. Reframing. <laughs> this is so the cool. I actually committed. The one you framed me for. Michael, pick up the body, make it look like it never happened. Genius. 
Too bad the feds will be here in two minutes. See your little diorama here and know it's all bull. Except none of this will be here. How? Neither will I. What? What does that mean? Are they in the back of a truck right now? <gasps> that was despicable. Wow, we're gonna beat him to death. I thought they were the truck. Jacob Anton Ness. Can I help you? You're under arrest for participation in the murder of Harlan Gaines. Yep. If you're talking about that, we're nonsense talking about blood the... evidence found in your office at the university. I knew it was gonna be blood. In office only you have access. I knew. I knew it. Harlan Gaines blood. The blood will finally be spilled in its rightful place. Yep. So the blood evidence found in your belongings was because he tasked you with disposing of the body. Correct. So the blood is in tattoos and when, he, the revelation when he was looking at the blood, he had that idea. found in his office at the university. It neatly supports your theory, doesn't it? I'm director of the CIA. I'm aware of that. That's why I sent you the email with the evidence directly. My question is, would you be manipulating me too? How would I do that? Well... You look too closely at this evidence. Metadata in the pictures, degraded blood evidence. You might find some problems with Depends that. how motivated you are to look closely. He's fully disclosed 21 Void's conspiracy to frame you for the murder of Harlan Gaines and bury your identity by giving you a new one. Can you out us? What does that mean? It means the level of ingenuity that you displayed with all of this. We could use a person oh like that. Oh my god, really? <laughs> I am not looking for a job. He's always getting asked for stuff like this. But you should use your talents for, like, you should use your talents. There is one thing you can do for me. What? <laughs> Why'd you call her? Because I knew you wouldn't. Oh, uh, is that what you, the favor you asked? Looks an owl. What's really strange is things are still working out. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. Oh. <laughs> Peter cutting himself in his. You stab him. Fox River. This looks like the footage they used in 2000, what, five? Like just then. He's a guy smiling coming in here. Yeah, just not planning on sticking around. He's in Fox River? Yeah, right. What, is this maximum security? Is this a maximum security prison? I think it is. Ew. That's not, that can't be teabag. I've never seen teabag wear like shorts or anything. Oh, never mind. It's not shorts. It is teabag. Uh oh. What are you going to do to him? No, no. <laughs> wow. Are you killing him? Oh, that's the end. Okay, I don't want to watch this lost show. That's the end of Prison Break. The the way the last episode ended, well, the way the last scene was filmed, um, was how season one was, you know, was how we started. Oh, man, for, for a good year I've been watching this show. I've been with these characters for a good year. And uh, I've enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed Prison Break. Let me look up. So I've watched all of Prison Break. Prison Break. So yeah. Uh, I don't really know what to talk about. I kind of want, I guess we'll kind of like speak of the series as a whole as of now. So let me stop recording this part. Well, this this season itself was good. I did enjoy it. I feel... I feel like honestly what they could have done was redid like the perfect ending for me would have been end at season four and have episode 22 don't have that time skip in 22 or do have the time skip but don't kill him off like that and then we you know I would have been happy by having the time skip in season four but not killing him off and then 
not having you know the episode 23 episode 24 special not having season five at all if i wanted a perfect ending then that would have been it but they didn't end it like that so i am happy that we got a season five um especially after you know episode 23 and 24 they what like 2008 to 2016 that was that that was that break so yeah this season was good um I didn't, I think it was, it was episode, yeah, it was episode five. I didn't enjoy too much. But other than that, every episode was great. Like, every episode was so good. And it, it like, I loved how s- slow it was to kind of guess what was going on. And, like, the progression of this series was really good. Because you know how some shows is, like, the same every single season? The progression of the series, I love that it wasn't the same every episode. And I feel like, you know, like, I wouldn't rewatch, like, I wouldn't rewatch this series altogether like that again, but I definitely would rewatch season one. I would rewatch season. I think I'd rewatch season one and two. I would rewatch season one and two. Episode season three was like good in itself, but not as good as the other ones. Look how young they looked. And then season four, I wouldn't rewatch. I did like it, but I liked it for what it was. I think season four was like a great thing to learn about, you know, to learn what the story was going to be about. But I don't think to me, I don't think like it has the rewatchability, or even if I did rewatch it, I'd like skip around some episodes. Um, but I would definitely rewatch season one of five, season one and two. Sorry, there's still some things I don't understand, um, about season one, like the whole Abruzzi case or whatever, like the the like how Michael knew who John Abruzzi was. Like I still don't exactly entirely know how that happened, um, and then like. Well, I learned about uh J. Edgar Hoover. Was that his name Edgar Hoover? No, not J. Edgar Hoover. That's the directory of the FBI. Um, what's uh what's the guy's name? The Westmoreland guy. J.B. Cooper. J.B. Cooper. Um I still yeah, I do understand the J.B. Cooper because it you know it did take um it took me a while to understand that plot line. Um but yeah, season one was so good. I, I watched the, the first episode, the, the season one, episode one is my most popular on YouTube. I think it's because I had my dad with me. So that was uh, like one of my only reactions I did with my dad. But he told me it was so fun, but I know too much of the show and I don't want to spoil you. So I was like, you know what? Let me just watch it by myself. So I ended up watching it by myself. Um, but yeah, the pilot, as of now, the pilot has like 3.8 thousand views on my channel. Um so yeah um yeah season one was good i did enjoy season one i enjoyed learn learning about um you know paul and bill i think his name was or some other guy i forget um or ben or something let me see bill prison break prison break bill no bill was some other guy uh prison break paul kellerman partner it was like it was something Daniel. I can't I always forget that. Um Daniel. Yeah. Um I wish they did I wish they did more with uh like after season one, they kind of like ended um Pope's story. I kinda of wish they did more with Pope, kind of like I wish we had more background of him because I can't I, I still don't know if he if his current wife was his mistress or if his current wife is the wife that he cheated on. Because remember, the whole season one, we were trying to do the Taj Mahal stuff. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, season one, we were trying to do Taj Mahal. You know, we were trying to, you know, build it for Warden Pope, which ended up um, being the downfall of the uh the downfall of Fox River and the uprising of the the Fox River Eight, I think it was. Um. Oh, I, I missed season one. I missed just the cast and how young they looked and like how fresh it was. Um. I mean, I I love the prison atmosphere. Like I love the prim- prim- prison atmosphere, and they didn't do anything too dirty. Cause real prison's probably worse, but yeah. Um, I I I think I still think my favorite storyline is the whole president thing. You know, 
the whole, you know, president's brother and Michael being accused of that, which Michael being accused of the Michael, uh, sorry, Lincoln, Lincoln being accused of the, uh, the death of the president's brother is kind of like the starting, it's kind of like the theme of the entire season, them being framed for stuff they didn't do. Like they're still bad people, but they need to be justified for what they did and didn't do. You know what I mean? Like Lincoln was a street thug. He he was a bad person, but he didn't kill the president's brother. You know what I mean? Um, and later on, we learned that the reason why they framed the reason why they framed Lincoln was because his family worked for the, the company. Um, I was like, why would they pick this random street guy just to frame? You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I do enjoy that. And um, I, I couldn't a hundred percent. Like at the time, I couldn't one hundred percent get the whole, um, get the whole brotherly love that the president had. You know, uh, Caroline had with her brother more than brotherly love. If you know what I mean? Them two were were more than them two were lovers. So, uh, I kind of. I would. I, it sounds messed up, but I would. I would have rather them delve more into that storyline, than them just not, than them just like saying it over the phone for whatever reason. I guess it just, like the, it was like one line, and then they didn't speak about it afterwards. But I guess the reason why they added that was so that Michael had leverage, because what would the United States of America think about their president being into their brother? <laughs> you know what I mean. So, um, yeah. Um, but I did enjoy the the prison. Um, I did enjoy the president storyline a whole bunch. Um, yeah, I did enjoy that. Um, so yeah, season two came along, and I uh I loved it from the beginning. I really enjoyed it. I, we got uh um special special agent Mahone. Remember when Mahone was against us? He was the biggest op. Um. I don't know why, but I really enjoyed the whole house storyline. Like, I really enjoyed the whole trying to find money under the house. I don't know why. I just really did enjoy that episode. Really stuck out to me. It was episode six, subdivision. That really did stick out to me. Um, and we got to learn about more of the company this season. We learned about, um, you know, the dad. You know, Lincoln and Michael's dad, and their, how they worked for the company, which kind of, I guess, was, you know, kind of foreshadowing. It was a family business. And then episode 22 ended with Sona. So messed up. Season 3 came along. Um, I, I, season 3 is my least favorite season. But like, if I, if I take away all the other seasons, it was honestly a really good storyline. Like, I really enjoyed having a, another season where we were in prison. Um, I did enjoy the whole conundrums we had. But... It felt like a super long, dragged out transition from season two to four. It seemed like they had the idea of season four or whatever. They just had to try and find a way to get there. And honestly, the execution just seems very dragged out. Like they could have done nine episodes like they did season five. You know what I mean? I got to stop saying you know what I mean. And then we got to season four, um, which felt like the longest season to me. I don't know why. It just felt very dragged out, but in a good way. Like. I wouldn't rewatch it because I know what happens and it was just it did drag out. But the thing that made it good was that we learned new like even if it was the tiniest little bit of information, we learned new information every single episode. Like there was an episode where we didn't learn any information. Um so that's the way that not made it drag out. I, by having new information every time we learned about michael's uh we learned about michael's mom more we learned about his whole brain hemorrhage thing we learned about why michael and lincoln have different last names lincoln's adopted why how do we know that their mom works in the company their mom was their mom was so powerful that she almost killed the general so that that tells you something about their mom i forget her name christina her name's Christina. Christina was about to kill Lincoln. Um, and season five comes along. I started season five earlier in the month, ending it, ending it 
close to Christmas. Season five was good. I talked about season five earlier in the discussion. Season five was really good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna miss this show. I'm good. Like, I've been watching this show since like what? Since June, July. Um, so I've been watching it for a good year. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss learning new stuff. But I appreciated it. I appreciate it for what it was. It was never. It never turned bad. Um. I heard mixed reviews about this season. It was great to me. It was amazing to me. It felt like no time. I mean, time had passed literally because there was a time skip to match with reality. But um, it felt like no, like the writing, if it, like the write, writing wise, you know, production wise, it felt like no time had passed other than like better camera work, ca- better camera quality. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this show. I enjoyed Prison Break. Hope you guys enjoyed it with me. Um, it was my big three. My top three was always Doctor Who, Vampire Diaries, and Prison Break, and I'm I'm ending one of my top threes. So, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. I want to say thanks for watching, and for the last time, for a Prison Break reaction, goodbye. <laughs>